I think that maintaining muscle helps to maintain brain as well, right? 100%. I mean, your muscles are an endocrine gland. And, you know, that takes a little work to kind of get your arms around that. You think of endocrine glands, you're thinking pituitary, thyroid, yeah, adrenal, like et cetera. But the muscles secrete, by definition of an endocrine gland, secrete, uh, secrete chemicals that work elsewhere in the body and it includes the brain. So when you're activating your muscles, you are creating with a little factory, you're creating things like BDNF, brain derived neurotrophic factor, which nurtures brain cells and turns on the growth of new brain cells and synapses, the connection between brain cells. Other chemicals, uh, lactic acid, IL-6, uh, cathepsin D, irisin, all of these are wonderful uh, names of chemicals that are made from muscle that influence the body, influence the brain. So it's not just good to exercise so you make more of those wonderful chemicals, but the bigger your muscles are, the more of those chemicals you will be able to produce at any given moment. So I'm not saying we all need to look like Arnold in his prime, but we do need to avoid losing muscle mass to get back to your uh, aging patient as we age.